Hello everybody, this is Lucanator23, and who has not heard the news of the LEGO Super Mario collaboration? <laughs> um, I'm honestly glad, I mean, honestly, I'm very, very happy that this actually happened. Um, so today, I'm going to be discussing, like, some of the sets I think are going to happen, as well as some of the leaks that have been going on, at least within the LEGO community. And also, will we see more stuff like this in the future? So, hope you guys like it. So first of all, LEGO actually revealed exactly how long it took for them to actually get this, like, license. And boy, I'm honestly shocked that it took this long. It took them um, four years to get this partnership with LEGO, and, sorry, with, you know, Nintendo. But, I'm shocked it took that long, like, why, like, honestly, it could have taken shorter. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of, I'm really glad that they're doing this. Um, now, for what the LEGO sets might be, I strongly believe that we are going to be getting some very, very iconic scenes, like, from the LEGO Mario side, like, the Super Mario games. Um, obviously, they revealed two LEGO sets during that presentation uh, a few weeks ago, where they revealed the first ever Piranha Plant slide, which <laughs> looked hilarious to me, and then the big shocker, Bowser's Castle, which I honestly thought was going to happen. Um... I honestly think that the other ones could be, like, you know, maybe some of the smaller ones. Uh, but from what there's been a link about, um, there has been rumors that we're going to be getting minifigures of the Mario Lego characters. So, do I think that's going to happen? Somewhat? Um, now, first of all, I'm going to say that some people hate the way Mario looks. Like, they say he looks like a fat square Minecraft character. Um, I do not think that at all. I think he looks pretty normal. Like, his face looks normal, or, you know, except it's all square shaped. <laughs> um, but yeah, from what the trailer showed, there's, like, the scanner underneath Mario. And it basically scans, like, these stickers, or I guess stickers, or something like that, on, like, every type of brick, and it, it would interact. The cool part was they actually showed a color scanner, which I thought was pretty cool, because, I mean, LEGO, from, like, have you guys ever known, like, LEGO has not done, like, color recognition, right? Um, I could be wrong, but from what I've seen, like, with their tech toys, I've not seen any color, um, reading stuff, so. Okay, now, moving that out of the way, what do I think about the starter course? It looks cool, um... Looks a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be. Um, also, the price is a little bit strange to me. Um, Sixty dollars for the starter pack. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, well, I've noticed this too. Um, so the, in the, at the at the end of the video, they showed like now you can pre-order this and get it by August first. You know. Um, they apparently are sold out right now on LEGO, um, at least for the Super Mario stuff, and I think the reason why is because there's a special pre-order bonus, but it comes with a free expansion pack, which I think looks cool. It comes with a Monty Mole, a uh, new block I have not seen, it, it looks like a timer, so it looks like maybe it adds time to the Mario stuff. Um, it also comes with a Super Mushroom, which I wanted to see what that does. Like, does it make Mario a little bit invincible? Or something like that? I mean, I don't know how this stuff is going to work, but I trust LEGO and Nintendo are going to make the right decisions about this, so, yeah, I hope they do this great. And, with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and I got one last surprise for you.